Send to yourselves, children of earth. Find that quiet place within that we may work this right. We are survivors, born helpless without fur, without fang, without claw, yet we survive. In time ancient beyond ancient, we rose alone among our kin to forge a bond with holy fire. The might of the sun and stars beyond counting, wielded in storm, striking death on all foes, dispelling darkness and cold's deadly grasp, blessed light beaming growth and warmth from above. Only once gods knew his favor. By wit and by will, the thieving art we have won to coax him from hiding in wood and stone. Draw him down from the sun. He blesses our hearts, he powers our craft, he enables our worship. It is the hearth goddess who came among us and taught us to keep the flame for all time. Living here with us, the heart of our homes, she keeps us and guides us in manner and kindness. Keeper of the flame, be here now. We who keep your tradition ask for your aid. We honor and emulate your service to the folk, to the gods, and to the holy fire. As is your due for your devoted ways, we give you first sacrifice. And we thank you for your many blessings. Flame Keeper, accept our offering. God of fire, living flame in our hearth, acceptor of sacrifice, dispeller of impurity, you who brings the gods to our rights, you are our messenger the ruler of sacrifice, dispeller of night, remover of all grief, son of strength, ripener of seed. We praise you and your many blessings. God of fire, accept our offering. Before us burns the flame of our faith, the hearth fire of our folk, both living and dead. Here is our focus across the face of the earth and bridging the expanse of time. It is here the generations meet. Ancestors, we call you to the hearth of ADF, our honored dead, whom we know, love, and miss. To this hearth of druidry we call the ancient wise. Hear us and draw near. Join with us in our working. Ancestors, accept our offering. Through winter's darkness the wheel has turned. With new light the earth now awakens. At this midpoint, the equinox, we bring the cycle to completion. The past year we now bring to a close. Past and present meet in this moment. Our flame 
grows old and tired. From his work, now is the time for ending, for completion, as we prepare to begin anew. Children of Earth, we look within. We see in our mind's eye the events of the year now past. As we prepare to this, end this cycle and extinguish the flame, the flame, we look within for that which we will now end and leave behind. We come with clear water and thanks in our hearts. You who takes within yourself all impurity and ill. You who gives so much in return for our devotion. Now is the time to let the old die away so the new can be reborn. Children of Earth, we come now to the hearth of our folk. We hold in our minds that which we will leave behind. And with this sacred water, we extinguish the past. We stand at the threshold of time. The past stretches behind us, potential yawns before. Here is a time of danger and uncertainty. From here, paths go in many directions. Hearth Goddess, Lady of Prophecy, ancestors whose sight reaches further than ours, speak to us of what comes. Tell us what you see ahead. The hearth goddess gives us bull, which is potency, which is all the good things you want. And the hearth, the fire god, gives us stag, which is pride and independence. And the ancestors give us wren, king of the birds, the wren who hid under the wing of eagle, so that when they competed to see who could fly the highest and be king of the birds, the eagle got as high as it could and the wren flew out from underneath its wings and went just a little bit higher. So, it's a bit of cunning, but it's winning against all odds. So this is actually a really good omen. Potency. Pride and independence, winning against all odds. For the coming year, as this flame burns, this new flame burns, we couldn't do much better. Ancestors, fire tender goddess, fire god, we thank you for this home. So children of earth, think upon these omens so we will remember and heed their message. Hearth goddess, ancestors, we thank you for your guidance and wisdom. So, now, as we turn our faces towards the future, we must cleanse away all that remains in the past in preparation for the rebirth to come as we prepare to step forward into the renewed world of spring.
by the power of the sacred ash, be cleansed. I let go what is behind me and prepare for what is ahead. By the salt of the sea, be cleansed. This is a great magic, not a gift of the gods, but of the ancestors. By thunder, the fire is hidden within stone. By strength, we will give him rebirth. Desire and passion will yield what we need. The red seed of divine fire is born. Attend to his birth, his rebirth, with wonder and joy. God of the sacred fire, be welcome, ever young, flame born anew. May you burn ever bright upon our hearts, tended and honored with each dawn. God of fire, burn within us. Goddess of hearth, guide and inspire us. Flame of unity, keep and protect us. We have done well. By ancient custom, our fire is reborn anew. By our faith and right action, we are united and strong. Now, let us thank those who have aided us. Hearth Goddess, you who keeps the flame burning in our hearts, we thank you. Fire God, you that burns bright in the world, we thank you. And mighty ancestors, you who have aided us in our lives, who whisper wisdom in our ears, for aiding us in this, we say, we thank you. So walk with wisdom, children of earth. This rite has ended. And now, I must return the flame to the temple where it lives.